Hi guys, Paul from International Scale Modeler. Um, just a quick overview today of one of AK Interactive's products. Something I've never used before. Um, primarily because I didn't really see the need for it, the way I was doing things, but looking at the techniques, hopefully it'll improve uh, my techniques. More so on single colour vehicles. Most of the armour I've ever done has been tritone uh, German armour, Tigers and Mojave Panther. Uh, I've stepped ahead uh, with my armour and approached more modern for a start, Merkavas, uh, Tyrant 5, etc. Um, but more so, at a later date I want to try a bit of US armour, Pershing or a Sherman, and sooner rather than later I'll be doing more Russian armour as well. These are always uh, green, uh, olive drab and Russian green, so for me it's going to give a different technique uh, and hopefully a different look to my vehicles, make them look a bit more interesting. Uh, basically, it's AK Interactive's US Olive Drab Special Modulation Set. Um, on the back, you have your quick diagram of what to use and where. Um, inside, it's a six paint set. Um, you get Olive Drab Shadow, Olive Drab Dark Base, uh, Olive Drab Base, uh, Olive Drab Light Base, Olive Drab Highlights, and Olive Drab Shine. So, six processes to achieve uh, the modulated effect. The way I'd normally do this is with Extra Acrylics, Tamiya, uh, Vallejo, Mr. Hobby, whatever. Um, I'll take the base colour, US Drab, and I'll add white uh, for the highlights to lighten the colour. And I'll add a uh, slightly darker green or a um, slight bit of black to it, just to slightly darken it. So, same process, just a little bit more long-winded because you, you've got to get your paint down in one go because you've got to come back to redo it. You've got to get the shade right again, as I've just found out doing my Cuba wagon. Uh, if you've been following my build on ISM, you'll see that I sprayed it, did the camo, wasn't happy, and had to go back and respray it. And trying to get that shade right again on the highlights was uh, a bit more difficult than I hoped, to be fair. So, hopefully, using this, I'll say again with this when I use it. I bought the Olive Drab by mistake, as I put on the floor and wanted the Russian green, and I got sent this. The picture was shown wrong on the website, which I need to inform them about. But like I say, I hope to a Persian or a Sherman early date, so it will get used. And in the meantime, I'll order the Russian uh, modulation set. So, what do you get? I have had a quick look, I have cheated. So, it's a six paint set. Uh, AK Interactive. I know when these were brought out originally, they were made by Vallejo. Uh, I had a sneaky suspicion they still were, as I was speaking to Lee about the other day. But I can confirm by the smell, they're not Vallejo. They smell totally different. It's a totally different type of paint, uh, different manufacturer, although they're produced in Spain where Vallejo is produced as well, I'd have thought you know, it would have made sense to have Vallejo produce it, but something must have happened in the pipeline there which changed it, so I can confirm 100% not Vallejo paint, which for me, uh, I thought they were, but never mind. So like I say, you get all the different shades, uh, in your normal 17mm um, Vallejo size bottle, exactly the same bottle, just different stickers, different coloured lids. So. I get them all out and remove the packaging. Packaging's good, nice sturdy box. The only thing I don't like and what I would have liked is a bit more informative instructions. Um, as you can see, that's all you get. So basically it's saying you got your shadow, your dark base, your base, your hat light base, the highlights and the shine as well. Uh, I would have liked a bit more uh, in-depth instructions because it is rather vague. Um, I mean, on some of the places, the likes of the highlight, it's hard to see where they've actually applied it. I've got several books and DVDs that cover the subject, so not much of a problem for me really, but for somebody who just bought the kit, the set to use on a kit, they may find it more difficult. But basically, start off primer tank, um, you have the dark shadow into all the, um, sorry, drab shadow, should I say, into all the uh, crevices, the recesses, uh, lower parts of the hull. Uh, anywhere where if you imagine things like this, natural light collects there, 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 there. Underneath you've got dark, so that's where it's simulating the natural effects of light hitting something. You then got your other drab dark base next, which is an overall covering avoiding the highlights. And obviously going over the dark shadow, uh, the drab shadow, you're not going to be spraying it uh, thickly, you're just literally going to be covering it. Uh, imagine you're covering a pre-shade on a plane. It's that kind of effect. 
Then you've got your old drab base colour, which is applied overall. Again, you're not putting a thick coat down, you're just literally lightly coating the tank. Once that's done, onto your light base, and which you start highlighting some of the lighter areas, so tops of the turrets, uh, front of the mantlet, uh, side of the hull, and what have you, you can see the effect tape and shape. Um, there's your highlight, so again, places where you just applied a bit of the, applied a bit of the light blade, oh god, I can't speak, the light base. Um, you then apply the highlights too, so you're just basically accentuating the effect of the light hitting the tank um, and then the shine. I'm not so sure what the shine is, um, I haven't looked, I'm going to assume it's just a, a glossy olive drab um, to put over it. I know a lot of people like to put um, a gloss finish on the paintwork before they apply weathering uh, pigments or have you to give a contrast between uh, the shine of the paint and the uh, matte of the pigments but for me I think all the tanks should just be matte uh, they were absolutely battered especially second world war armour be it Russian, American, German, whatever um, so I don't like to add that shine so I will I will try the technique, I can always matte over it I'm interested to see how it works um, and once I've used it I will post up on the forum or an update video to show it in use it will more likely be done on my JSU 100 um, I'll be doing fairly shortly so like I say once I've done it I will um, update the video at some point but like I say set of six colours um, quite vague instructions I would have liked something a bit more in depth but that's the way it is basically um, the way I would normally do it like I say is very similar to what's shown on there but I would just use a highlight sorry a light and, and a darkened tone of the base colour so this is a bit more in depth, so I'm interested to see how it works, like I said I've never done it before. Uh, I've always been a bit sceptical, but I needed a paint set by AK to try the paint uh, for another project. So I thought, right, we'll go along with this. So um, that's it basically, AK modulation set, um, US solid drab, I give it a whirl. If you've used it, please comment on the video, uh, I'm interested to see how you found it. And um, like I say, once I've had a go, I'll update the video and let you know.